Hey everyone, I'm Sam Ares and I'm here with a Fixit Networks mod tutorial for gamers who don't want to code. So, um, Ada, what's it about today? We are going to set up a computer to set recipes, overclock or standby on multiple machines with one click. Ah, the set factory script. That's a nice one. Okay, we'll start at the beginning and that is... Ada, your cue. The hardware setup, of course. You should know that, Sam. Uh, yes, thank you. Okay, so first we are going to need a computer case with uh, one T1 CPU. That's all. As simple as the setup as that gets. But don't forget to insert the Lua model. You can create that one in the equipment workshop. Next, we need to connect all machines we want to be set up with the computer via network cables. Make sure you are using the network poles and wall plugs to do that, just like you would connect power to them as well. That's all. Set up done. Then move on, Sam. Next is setting the code. Yes, exactly. And there's no coding necessary. All you need to do is copy the code out of the sectorsfairytip.com article linked in the description, into the code window of the computer you just built. Then we're going to need to set some values, but it's really easy and you really don't need to code. All you need to do is change lines 2 to 4 in the code. If clock recipe or sent by is set to be equal to two quotation marks without anything between them, that setting will stay the same and will not be changed. Otherwise, it will set to the value you want to set your machines to. It's that easy. The value behind clock determines to what we clock the machine. If you set a higher number, then the machines can be clocked to because it's above 250 or you haven't installed enough power charts, it will set the maximum allowed instead. Recipe determines to what recipe the machine should be set to. Write the recipe exactly like it is written in game between quotation marks behind the equal. If you set a recipe, it will empty the intakes and output inventories of your machines though. So make sure there's something of value in the machines or take that out before you set a new recipe. And send standby equal to true to set them to standby and set it to false to cancel standby and activate the machines again. Now all that's left to do is to run the script. Just press the power button in the bottom left corner. That's all. Okay. Is there anything else, Ada? Yes. Show them how to group machines and manage them independently. Ooh, that's a great idea. Okay, it's not so difficult. Okay, in the code we have a setting called group in line number 6. With that we can set a specific group of machines without changing the rest. Just write the name of the group between the quotation marks and leave it empty to speak to all connected machines. But before we can use that we need to set the machines to groups. Do that by using the Networks Manager tool. If you don't have it, you can build an equipment workshop. Just click with it on a machine. In the panel that's open up, you need to write the group name we want the machines to have in the second line. Normally, if you don't have set anything up, it will be empty. We can set a machine to multiple groups by separating the group names with a space. The order of the groups doesn't matter. Shift-clicking machine will set the groups to whatever is in your clipboard. So copy the group on the first machine and just shift-click on the rest. It will be much faster that way. Now, if we run our code with the groups, only those of the selected group will be set. The rest of the machines will stay the same. If and Sam talks too much for your liking, you can reread this guide on satisfactorytips.com. Link is in the description. I guess that is correct. Well, I think we are done here. So if you like to see more of me, check out my Twitch. And if you like that video, make sure to subscribe and like it. 
Also, huge thank to my Patreon. Your support is highly, highly appreciated. With that, bye-bye and have fun gaming.